How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the Dr. Preston Show. Professor Preston. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to catch up with you guys on another Thursday evening. Can you believe it? April 30, 2020. It was when we started our lives on this channel every Thursday. And look where we are now. This is essentially the one year anniversary because we're April 29. This is the one year anniversary. Look how far we've come. <laughs> you guys remember my hair was poof. And then it went to chew. And it went like this. And now it's, yeah, it has some height. Now it's gray hair. A little gray hair. A little gray hair. They say it's a sign of wisdom. That's what they say, apparently. Before we get into everything that has to be discussed this evening, are there any IT specialists among my subscribers? Are there any Google, YouTube, IT specialists? If you are an expert in one of these three or all of these three, let me know in the comments below. I need your assistance. It is urgent. I repeat, if you're an IT specialist, a Google expert, a YouTube expert, let me know your thoughts and let me know in the comments below. I'd like to reach out to you for some advice. Would really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, as you can see by the title of this video, Jakey. Yeah, I had a lovely chat with Jakey a couple of days ago. He's finally at a club. That's perhaps the most asked question that I've had on this channel. Where is Peter Lee Vassal going? Where Vassal there? Where Jakey 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 there? Every striking Thursday, it's all about Jakey. It's all about Jakey every Thursday. And it's clear to see the passion and confidence and belief that you guys have in this young man. And like I've said in previous videos, if this guy is on form, this guy can do great things. Just give him a run of games. Give him six to eight games, possibly. 10 to 12 and you have a young man that can do absolute magic on a football field harry houdini sort of stuff burt wonderstone sort of sort of magic absolute genius genius things just give this guy the football and he'll make things happen i don't think i included him in my 23 for the gold cup but as soon as he gets his, his work visa, trust me, he's on that plane. He's on that plane. Jakey is supremely talented. Supremely. You see Jakey, Lamar Walker, Tyreek McGee? Oh gosh, man. Oh gosh. That's 2026 right in itself right there. That is a formidable midfield if they reach their potential or approach their potential. Let me tell you something. Peter Lee Vassell, Lamar Walker, Tyreek McGee. Genius. Absolute geniuses on a football. I've had the privilege to speak closely with McGee and also with Jakey and humble unassuming young men trust me did i forget young kevon isaacs not kevon isaacs <laughs> dwayne atkinson dwayne atkinson let me tell you something that guy brilliant now as you know they have a number of jamaicans 
Jamaican born individuals and some potential Jamaican internationals that have been nominated for some massive, massive awards in England. In League Two, it's Jamil Matt. He's been nominated for the League Two Player of the Year. In League One, it's Johnson Clark Harris. And before everybody says, oh, da 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 da, if you guys followed him on social media from 2015, and followed the Reggae Boys forum from back then, you would see conversations and would have known that this is a guy that declared his interest to play for Jamaica from 2015. It's not yesterday, it's not this year that, that he has been interested to play for Jamaica. It's for the last six years that he has made his allegiance known publicly. He said it in chat rooms, he's, he has said it in forums, he said it on social media. He's not the first and he won't be the last either. Same was done by Marvin Bartley. Same was done by James Vaughan. Same was done by many, many other players. The list can truly go on and on and on. And I'm going to mention two more names. Something that has never been done on this channel before. Two players. Well, one has a passport and one is closing in on a passport. If you want to know who those two, two players are, let's get to 100 likes. 100 likes and I'll tell you who those two players are that have one of them secured a passport and the second one is this close to receiving a passport and no it's not Kemar Roof so remember what I said 100 likes 100 likes on this video and I'll tell you the names of those two individuals all right 100 likes we're at 20 likes right now get to 100 likes and I will share those details for you so we had a little chat about Jakey. We spoke about the awards in particular as well, the, in terms of the nominations. Jamal Lowe, his goal against Cardiff City in the Welsh Derby has been nominated for the championship goal of the season. And for those individuals in, in the chat that have a background in playing football, regardless of the level, Super League, Major League, Sid Bartlett, Colts, Pepsi, Manning Cup, Jisa, you, if you look at the strike that Jamil Matt did, not Jamil Matt, Jamal Lowe did, you would understand how difficult of a skill it is, the way that he positioned his foot and made the ball make the movement that it did to go into the back of the net. I'm still in awe just, just re-watching it. Guys, look it up. Jamal Lowe against Cardiff City, December 2020. Nominee for goal of the season. And how could we forget? Ivan Tony, Nominated for the Championship Player of the Year. Goals, goals, goals. And guess what, guys? Penalties also count as goals. Yeah. Many people like to say, Oh, but he scored 10 penalties. Oh, but he scored X amount of penalties. So you're just going to subtract the penalty goals from the from the goals itself? As, as far as I'm aware, once the ball is in the back of the net, that's a goal. That's how I understand football. Isn't 2 plus 2, 4? Isn't 2 plus 1 plus 1, 4? Isn't 3 plus 1, 4? Isn't 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4? Isn't 4 plus 0, 4? Isn't 0 plus 4, 4? Isn't 2 times 2, 4? Isn't 4 times 1, 4? Isn't 1 times 4, 4? I'm sure you get the drift of where I'm going with this. <laughs> so goal is a goal. We're now at 30 likes, so we just have 70 likes to go. And I'll reveal the name of the individual that has received a Jamaican passport. And the other that is this close. And no, it is not Kemar Roof. It's not Kemar Roof. No, no, no. It's not. It's a name that I have not mentioned on this channel for quite some time. It's a striker. Mm, I'm sure that has piqued your interest. I'm sure it really has. So that's 32 likes. So that's another 68 likes to go. Let's get there, guys. Let's get there, shall we? Let's get there. 
keep working, keep working on it. And just like everything else in life, everything, everything falls into place in due time. I know it can be quite frustrating when things don't go your way, especially for a week or two weeks or so, but we just have to keep working hard and, and just trust that things will work out. And like I said at the start of this video, guys, I'll repeat it again. Do we have any IT experts? Do we have any YouTube experts? Do we have any Google experts? Do we have any AdSense experts? Do we have any IT technical experts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I have a project for you people. All right. Please. And thank you. It'll be much appreciated. It really, really would. 37 likes. So we have another 63 likes to go. 63 likes from now. And you all will get that missing name. That individual that has received a Jamaican passport. Are you excited? 62 likes to go. 62. 61. Wow, would you look at us? And doesn't everybody want to know who that player is? There's almost a hundred of you watching the stream. If you really, really want to know who that player is, smash that like button. I don't want to mean smash it, I mean smash it, smash. Hmm. To each his own, I guess. Like I've always said on this channel, you get two things. Accuracy and credibility. Remember, guys, remember, there's a lot of channels out there, and they're doing good stuff. But you know which is the only channel that talks only about Jamaican football? I only talk about football. Other channels talk about Champions League and other football channels, or, other, or, or, or the Premier League. Other channels talk about athletics. Other channels talk about basketball in addition to football. But you know the niche. And we're closing in on a thousand videos talking only about Jamaican football. And as you know, it's not like you can go on Wikipedia and get information about Jamaican players, especially the ones playing on the island. So. I think it's fair to say that you all can trust me when it comes to reliable information. It's not like I can just go on Google and just go <laughs> read up this, 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 this and, and swat it. Not at all. Not at all. So. We may have to make some changes in the future, but I'll keep you all updated. I'll keep you all updated. Gonna need your help, gonna need your support, gonna need your understanding. Some decisions might have to be made that I'm gonna need you all to understand. But we'll get to that in due course. But I need you to be understanding of the situation. Alright guys, trust me when I say I have a plan. And I need you to follow my plan. Okay? Everything will fall into place in due time, but I need you to follow me. So, I'll keep you all abreast of what is happening. Okay, guys? So, I repeat again, if we have any IT experts, if we have any YouTube experts, if we have any Google experts, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and need your assistance with a project. Secondly, we're 44 likes away from 100 likes. We get to 100 likes, then I, Simon Preston, will tell you the name of that individual that has received a Jamaican passport. It's not Ruth and it's not Antonio. Rashawn Burke says, first. Okay, cool. Dabbles Don Rose up, Simon. Chivalry Campbell, blessing, Simon. Gaza Dre, one big up, Simon. George Stone says, up, Simon. 
One bro got Simon. How did the name of your channel change last night? So the answer to that question is this. I was making some updates in Google settings. So instead of changing some contact, emergency contact information, it ended up changing the channel name. So it's not hacked, no. One broker said, we need an interview with Peter Lee. You know, I did an interview with Peter Lee for my full-time job and brilliant guy. Nicholas Pusey says, boss camera look clean tonight. Big up yourself, Simon. Best news outlet and update for reggae boys. Thank you very much, sir. I will keep it up. I'm going to need your assistance at some point, so we'll be in touch. Romardino YT. Rename the show JK Thursdays. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Chivalry Campbell. Simon, who you have winning the championship playoff? Brentford all the way or a possible upset on the horizon? You know, as much as I would love to see Ethan Pinnock play in the in the Premier League. I think Jamal Lewis made for the Premier League. I, th I think it's going to be Swansea. Swansea or Brentford. But although I'd prefer to see Pinnock, I think it's going to be Swansea. Trent Boring. Simon, are Shaquille Moore and or John Bostock going to play for Trinidad? They've been trying with Bostock for years and years and years. I don't think so. Do you see Salvador being a group stage pest in Gold Cup? Pest, as in get a win? Yeah. Who will make it further in the Gold Cup? Martinique or Haiti? Haiti. Will we get Tony? Should. Ian Campbell says, Blessings, Simon. Blessings. By the start of World Cup qualifying, would you rate this team as second in the region? Jamaica? No. Third. Does Rabel have any club interested in him at the moment? Real Sociedad. Kevin Henry. This Jamaica side bigger than the coach. Simon, you're the mob boss of CONCACAF. Grazie, molto bene. <laughs> Giovanni Brown, if he's smart, he'll come. Like I said, guys, 100 likes, and I'll tell you who's got their passports. 35 likes to go, 35 likes to go. I'll tell you the name, 35 likes to go. Peter Lee has potential, but whenever I watch him play, he looks lazy. You know, they said that of Dimitar Berbatov. It is just the style of play. It's just the style of play, to be honest with you, so... Don't watch that. When it's game time, Jakey knows what he has to do. What is the latest on Ivan Tony? The latest is that Ivan Tony is trying to get his team promoted to the English Premier League. That is the absolute latest. Christian J. Wallace Simon, big up yourself, Ute. Big up. What are our options at the 8 and 10 for World Cup qualifying? Let's hope it's not Dini. No, it's not Dini. It's not Dini. What y'all waiting on? Like the video. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, guys, come on. 29 likes to go. No, it's not Antonio. It's not Michael Antonio. It's not Michael Antonio. And Johnson hasn't received his passport either. What teams should we look out for in the Gold Cup prelims? Teams in our group. Suriname. Costa Rica. Giovanni Brown. My name is spelled S-I-M-O-N. S-I-M-O-N-E is Simone. And to speak about your question about Khadija Bunny Shaw and Man City, it's a funny one because I've spoken to City scouts and they've said that they've been tracking Bunny for the last two years. Well, my colleague reached out to, to Bunny today and Bunny says it's rumours. So it's kind of a head-scratching one to read, to be honest with you. But I've, si I've seen evidence of the scouting reports and I've seen evidence that Manchester City was with Chelsea, was with Manchester United in France to watch most of Bunny's games last season. And it's a clear evidence that Bunny wants to go to England. She wants to play in the Champions League, so it will happen. Boss King says, how do you feel the schoolboy football season res restarts safely? To be honest with you, my friend, if Jamaica hasn't vaccinated half of the population, I honestly don't think schoolboy football can even happen. Simon, when I'm a millionaire, I will allocate as much funds to you so you can help build infrastructure and recruit for Jamaica. 
I appreciate that, my friend. You have my email address. Just stay in touch. What are our options at the six for Gold Cup? Kevin Lambert. Michael Hector. Daniel Johnson. Blessing Simon. Project Miles says, good work. Kahim Brooks says, just like this video on all my accounts. <laughs> Thank you. So 22 likes to go and I'll tell you the name. Where, when do you expect Roof to get his passport? To be quite frank, sometime before the Gold Cup. Simon will be, will be attending the Gold Cup games. I believe in the attitude of never say never, but I don't think so. Adam McGregor, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Thanks for dropping by. The Green Radio, what's up? What's going on with Redmond? Well, Redmond wants to play for Jamaica. That is the situation. But like I've said in the What is the Deal video, you have to contact the man. C contact him. Call him. And you guys have Dalton Wins email address. You guys have Dalton Wins Instagram. You guys have Dalton Wins Facebook. Private message him. Comment on all his pictures. He'll get the message. Yeah, Real Sociedad is not willing to budge in terms of the, the money part. What's the latest on Redmond, Roof and Antonio? Redmond wants to play Roof Passport, soon come Antonio a little further behind. Jordan Cousin, I believe, is the individual. He hasn't received it yet, but that's not the individual that has received it. Luis Bigot has parked or so quick? No. Is it Kida Taylor Hart? No. Check in. Bless up all fans. Mr. Black, how you doing, lad? Have you doing good, yeah? Oh yeah, that's that that's down that's down in London. Uh I have to talk like when Yorkshire, innit? I have to talk like when Yorkshire. Mr. Blake used to used to play football up in Leeds. And when when you come from Leeds, it's it's quite a different atmosphere and everything like that. Because Mr. Blake used to go to a school called University of Leeds. So when you're in Leeds, you're in the rugby league territory. And when you're in the rugby league territory, I'm, I'm starting to get a bit mancunian because that's my roots, really. Because if you understand what I'm saying and, and, and everything like that, it's clear to see that Man United are the best football club in the world. 6-2. 6-2. How do you feel about that, Mr. Blake? 6-2. 6-2. Nothing you can do about that now, can you? <laughs> so 15 likes to go and you all will get the big news. The big news. <laughs> 15 likes. Just 15 likes. One Brogard says, Peter Lee is not lazy, it's just a style. Exactly, it's just a style. And then Grant got his passport so soon. He's close, he's close. No Anthony Grant for the Gold Cup. Why am I hope and pray? What is preventing Ravel from signing for Real Sociedad? Money, 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 money! Money! Money, 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 money! Chef Zanvik, Hector is no good. Oh? Okay. Tito Hillehart, Kido Taylor confirmed. No, he hasn't received his password. Do you West Harding over Alvas Paul at right back? So, Alvas will be a bit more adventurous on the ball, so that is why I would give Alvas the, the edge. Where is Peter Lee Vassal going? In Europe? No, he's at Indy 11 in the United Soccer League. Bless up, Mr. Sheldon. Appreciate it, sir. No, it's not Isaac Hayden. Taking the bloody mick. Stay on the side of the pennies. Nil nil today, man. Look, Mr. Blake. Ah, uh, you're my brethren. We go way back. Way back. If it wasn't for you and my mother, I perhaps wouldn't be where I am today. Because because of that man, Mr. Blake. And my mother. Help me get this shiny trophy. You get me? A national award. In fact, the youngest ever in my category. So, the respect is there. But respect for Leeds? Come on. You're taking the mick off me. What's the deal on James Justin? He wants a conversation with Dalton Wint. Simon, how do you think Andre Blake's recent performances? Had they been splendid? Have you seen all, did you see those saves against Atlanta United? This guy is like Spider-Man. What would playing in a club 
World Cup mean for Andre Blake? The world. It could mean that opportunity to play in England. And it's no secret that Roy Hodgson wants him. It's no secret at all. Four more likes. Four more likes. All we need is four more likes. And I'll tell you the guy that has received a Jamaican passport. The only hint I can give you is that he's a striker. And that he used to play for Everton. That's all That's all I can give you as a hint. Two likes to go. Bam! Would you look at that? 100 likes. Wow, you guys act fast, don't you? You guys act really, really fast. Okay. A deal is a deal, right? 100 likes. So, the player that has received a Jamaican passport is... He was born in London, England. He's a striker. He scores goals. And his name is none other. One more hint. He plays football right now with Ethan Laird. His name is... His name is Kieran Agard. Kieran Agard is a striker that plays for MK Dons in League One. Just recovered from injury. Sent me a copy of his Jamaican passports yesterday. And now he has received his Jamaican passport. He's received his Jamaican passport while Anthony Grant is in the final stages of getting a Jamaican passport. Now that, my friends, is the absolute latest. Kieran Agard has received a Jamaican passport in his hands. Yeah, Kieran Agard. Former Arsenal, Everton youth player, now playing his trade with MK Dons. Do you guys want a different dimension or not? Because if we're not going to call up one of our own in Jamil Matt, then I'm going for another big man from League One. Because we're going to come up against Mexico, we're going to come up against Central American nations that are diminutive. And I'm not a professional footballer, but somebody of my height and presence can make a massive impact. So I'm not saying this is a guy that's going to play 14 games for us in the World Cup qualifying, but can he play five? Yeah, he can play five games for us. Can he come on in the 80th minute and make an impact in the 89th? Yes, we saw what Pepe Goodison did, right? All right, cool. That's what I have to say. I said what I had to say. And if you guys are saying, who, who, who? I don't know watch football, man. I don't know watch football. Guys, there are 17 divisions of football in England. You have to know what is going on around you. I'm watching the 17th tier with Rolanda Brown them at Stratford Paddock FC. Talent is everywhere everywhere you have to know about everything that's going on around you it's very important trust me you have to you have to be aware about what's going on trust me simon what happened to all the players who did not have their passport for usa game they got it before kickoff does Rebel have any chance of playing in the Premier League again? Yeah, I think he uh, he can play in the Premier League again. Simon, what are the chances we top our group in a Gold Cup? USA finishes second in theirs and we play them in the quarterfinals. That is a realistic possibility and could be a repeat of 2011. Yeah. It's Kieran Agard. Not Haggard, but Agard. A-G-A-R-D. Agard. Kieran Agard. Agard, Agard, Kieran, Agard, okay guys, Kieran Agard, trust me, so like I said, he's not going to be a regular striker, but is he going to be a squad player, mm, yeah, Ohini Blake says, Jamil Matt deserves a call up, like seriously, Jamaican born and has been professional for many years in League 2, if we can call up Omar Holness from non-league football, Look, I've been banging the Jamil match drum for many, many years. 
You see that jersey right there in, in black and amber? That's Jamil Matt. The day that he scored against Leicester City in the FA Cup 2019. Yeah, man. Ta when I went to Wales, the man showed me around Newport. Could have gone into Swansea, but there was traffic and everything like well, Cardiff, and there was traffic over there. But we learned the song and everything. We play in black and amber. South Wales pride and joy. Flinny is our gaffer. A proper new poor boy. The heart's up in the county. A passionate support. We are the supporters from the city of Newport. Ole, ole, ole. Tell you something, 2019 was just a blast. I watched Newport County up and down Wales, up and down England, Macclesfield. Trust me, the fans just love Jamil Matt. So I took that time, made the journey across the Atlantic, and it was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. To to learn more about the game, get involved with with everything that was there, and just equip me and knowledge to to another level. So. Yeah, passionate, passionate, I'm telling you. Would you have any information about any Martin Davis transfer news? No. Johnson Clark Harris is the only League One strike I'll go for. Okay, that's your view. Bad with bad guys, are him not good on the ball. Who are you talking? You're talking about Matt? What happened to Harris? Nothing. Rebel to Rangers, any chance? What are your thoughts on Junior Garrick? Junior Garrick or Jordan Garrick? Because if you're talking about the the Swindon player, then yeah, good player, good player, good 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 player. Any news on Brian Brown? Brian Brown is back in the USL, I believe. <laughs> I remember when Brian Brown broke on the scene ten years ago. Simon, what are your thoughts on the Ajax Bob Marley kit? It's interesting. And it just shows how powerful brand Jamaica is and how we should we should be really monetizing all of our assets but clearly we don't see an importance in it and it's just unfortunate in the grand scheme of things you know so very 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 sad give your best starting 11 for the gold cup Andre Blake central defense Liam Moore Damian Lowe I'm going to go with left back Kim or Taxi Lawrence. I'm going to go with right back Alvis Powell. I'm going to go with Isaac Hayden, Holden midfield. In front of them, I'm going to go with Daniel Johnson and Ravel Morrison. And I'm going to go with a front three of Jamal Lowe on one side, Leon Bailey on the other side, and Michael Antonio through the middle. Cool? Good. Thank you very much, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of this video, do we have any YouTube experts? Do we have any Google experts? Do we have any IT experts? I need your help. It's it's urgent and it's perhaps one of the reasons why you haven't seen me uploading quite regularly of late. I'm just frustrated about this issue that I've been having the past couple of days and, and, and months. So if you have any expertise in this field, just, just send me a private message after, all right, guys, because I really, really need your help, and it's quite frustrating. And I know you guys look forward to the regular uploads on this channel, but there's an issue that I have to solve. So we would really, really appreciate your help. Honestly, I just need your help. And we've invested so much time, energy, and strength over the last five years. So <sighs> if you guys know some assistance, especially in the AdSense elements and everything like that, then let me know. It would help. It would help, honestly. Yeah, that would be a massive, massive help. So, regular boys fans, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more important content. Okay, guys, take care. How do I get to you? You can send me a message on Instagram, Simon of Preston, a message on Twitter at SimonP93, or, or you can even send me a message on another platform. You can even drop in the comments below. All right, guys.
Take it easy. Mm -hmm.